Oh my gosh! Hi! Oh my gosh! No one told me you were coming. Oh, hello. <laughs> Welcome to the show with the most forgetful host in the world. <clears throat> I'm Daniel Burke. And uh, these, you're laughing. You're laughing at me. Hello! Welcome! So I'm doing a vlog for the blog. 10 albums you should probably listen to. It's late right now. I'll put that as a disclaimer. My, my roommate is asleep, but I'm like super excited about this one, okay? Super excited. First, let me introduce our special guest today. His name is Carl Pilkington Jr. Yeah, he's named after Carl Pilkington. He's a beta fish and he's in there. If you see him swimming around in the video, if you can even see, say hi to him. He likes to be fed. Compliments. Today's album. I'm super excited about because as I'm recording this, this album came out two days ago and I love it so much. The album is called Kinshasa 1-2 by DRC Music. Basically, a little bit of backstory about the album. So basically Damon Albarn and a few other like-minded producers went down to the Congo to help support Oxfam for a week record with the local artists and all the proceeds would go to Oxfam, which is currently the humanitarian relief effort in Congo. He took artists such as Gennaro Jarrell, Totally Enormous 16 Dinosaurs, Dan the Automator, Actress, and Richard Russell down to the Congo to record with local artists. They were there for five days. Each of the artists split up with some of the local artists there and they all worked on these different songs to create this album. Damon Auburn, basically when he was working on Gorillaz, really was intrigued by uh, hip-hop and African beats. This has basically become the full realization of this and incidentally it's for a good cause. The album really is uh, an ingenious meshing of sort of the English basically Western music that we're used to listening to mixed with the Congolese music. In my opinion beautifully. This opportunity that these musicians from England uh, is really really a great demonstration and example for all artists across the globe. They didn't make a big deal about it when they were going down there. They've, they've kept it pretty under wraps. They just wanted the music to stand for itself. The album is called Kinshasa 1-2. Kinshasa named after the capital city of the Congo. In the, in the album artwork, you can see different instruments that the citizens of the Congo have created. You can hear these instruments throughout the entire album. Carl Pilkington Jr. is so hypey. Anyway, songs that you should listen to that I recommend if you want to get a feel for the album. One. Hallo, H-A-L-L-O. Basically, this song really kicks off the album well. It's, it's probably the most identifiable song off the entire album. I've been informed that I'm getting stuck and that I'm going to now, from now on, continue to talk to the camera as if you were my friend. This song has a set of English lyrics followed by Congolese lyrics, go back to English, Congolese, in English, Congolese, and it has this like sort of, you can really feel the gorilla's beat in it. It has that fade in, pull out, fade in, pull out. Second one, K-Town. K-Town is really, really cool. It's like pop song, high energy. I mean, really, you can like tell it sounds like an African song edited by an English producer. And finally, the last song, if you had to listen to, is Departure. This one, the way I took it, it it's really like sad. I love the chord progression, but it seems like the, the last song in the album is almost saying like, don't forget us. And it's like pulling away and it gets really sad, but it's almost like saying goodbye. It's called Departure, but what I really think is like, look, we can get so caught up in our, our lives every day, our normal lives every day, but what we're forgetting, you have to look at yourself and think, what should I give? Because these people right now are suffering, and this is just a perfect example of those with the world's goods and those without. While expressing these passion, their passions through music, these people have helped immensely and bring a voice to a person who, a group of people who would otherwise be unheard. Hey Carl Pilkington. I have an Oshawott in the tank. I like Pokemon. 
Um, also, if you're really in, if you're into bass or like instruments, if you listen to the song Customs, the entire thing is basically just a crazy like homemade bass solo. Also, another one of my favorites, um, it's called Ah Congo. It has this really like haunting, in and out, pulsing sort of thing, where it makes you feel almost like you're standing in a terminal or like some sort of just really lifeless place, like kind of haunting. It's kind of threatening. And finally. I love this album. I think it's awesome. Not all the songs are great. Highly encourage listening to the entire thing. I encourage buying it. All the proceeds go to help Oxfam. It goes to help the people in the Congo. The album is out on iTunes right now, and I'm not sure about Amazon Music Store, but it's out on iTunes. No one uses Amazon Music Store. Eh. The CD and the LP, the hardcover um, versions, don't come out till, till November. I'm going to be buying it. I'm a huge Damon Albert fan, so I need the LP. I do encourage you to buy it on behalf of the Congo people. Now, if that doesn't guilt trip you, I don't know what will, because they need it, and you get free music out of it. It's like donating $10 and getting a bunch of free music. Awesome free music. Um, anyway, I believe that's it. I don't know if I have a great ending, but here's a montage of Carl Pilkington, my fish, to the music of... Kinshasa won too. Oh, I have a stronger ending. So today, guess what? I fell off my skateboard for the first time in four and a half years because I don't skate that much anymore, but now I skate to all my classes and stuff. And I got these new vans. But look, look at this. Look, they're ruined by the concrete because I fell. That was the strong ending, I guess. But here's a montage of my fish, Carl Pilkington. I love him. Bye. <laughs>